Yeah. I want to talk about uh, one of my favorite players on your team, Ryan Francis. Does he have the opportunity to play in the World Juniors next year? Is he 19 or is he 20 no, next year? No, he's 19. He's so 19. Yeah. His draft year is this year, and he's, yeah. he's ranked high second round. Uh, th- yeah, I think uh, like late second round, early third. Late. So Depends on the ranking th- you look at. Like yeah. he, He's anywhere from mid-second to early fourth. That's one guy that whenever I did watch Cape Breton this year, that I was like, holy, shit, look at this guy right now. Talk about him like in practices and games and, and what's he like as a player. He's, he's just he blew my mind a lot this year. Yeah, he he's awesome. Uh, like ever since I like I remember him watching him in Pee Wee, and I loved him. Oh, really? Like he, like he was always small, but he always had the heart of a lion. And the thing with with Franny is he's he's so smart. Yeah. He's so cerebral out there. He knows exactly where every player on both teams are on the ice at all times. Um, unbelievable puck distributor. His edges are unbelievable, yeah. and like. Not only that, he knows it too. Like, if if his edge is like a slightly off, he'll come off and say, "Hey, it's like my right six inches back on my right." Like, you know, like it, it's crazy. I've never seen anybody like that, and not in a bad way. Like yeah. in a in a really good way because he knows exactly what he can do on those things. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think, and I've said this to you know any any NHL scouts or whatever that have asked me and. Uh, I believe he'll be a, an NHL player. Yeah. Um, I think he's way too smart. He's way too good at way, way too many things. He's, he, even if he's not a point of game guy in the NHL, yeah. he'll be able to carve out a career because he's, he's so good. He can play left wing, center, right wing. Um, you know, he can, he can kill penalties. He can run a power play. He can win face off. And you talk about Crosby, you know, Crosby that year when he's like, I, w- I just want to get better at face offs. That was Franny this year. Right. Like he, cause his first two years in the queue, he played the wing. Okay. Um, like he played on Batherson's wing. And then, it, so we moved him back to center this year and which he is a naturally a centerman. And, you know, for the first bit, he was struggling on face-offs yeah. because he hasn't done them in forever. And, and that's, you know, he put in the work big time. Yeah getting better at face offs. So, you know, he works his butt off all the time. Like he's always competing. Uh he's one of those guys that really like in a good way, again, in practice, like he's one of those guys that'll get into it with somebody in a battle drill. Really? You, you know, not like not throwing I know what bombs, you mean. Yeah, but just but like I competing. Yeah. Exactly. Competing. Yeah. Doesn't matter who it is. Doesn't yeah. matter if it's Sokolov and Boudreau who are a foot yeah. taller than him and forty pounds heavier. Yeah. And, but um was very excited, very happy to see Franny take off this year uh, and get the recognition he deserved with the the top prospects game and, yeah. the, and the Canada Russia series. And yeah. um, you know, I fully expect him um, to come in next year and challenge for the league scoring title with us. Like, well said. you know, so especially with the the guys we got coming back, it's not like we're completely rebuilding here. You know, we we didn't sell the farm farm. Like we have a lot of good players coming back, yeah. and like you know, you put a Sean Element who scored forty four last year. You know, you got him on his wing. Like Franny should be again challenging for the for the scoring title. When we went out to Mike up Why Not the other day, uh, Ryan was out there skating, and they're just going through. You know, the, the boys are just trying to get back into the motions of things. So they're just they're going around tight pot uh, pylons, getting a shot on net, and just I was watching Ryan and the way he was going through the pylons and just getting. A shot on net so quickly and just sniping on the goalie top right left bottom center five hole wherever he pleased it was just it wasn't as it it wasn't as if he was going through the motions but he was it almost looked like he was but he was going at top pace he's, top speed he's so you know? smooth I he's so smooth like and that's like he's you know straight away he's not like a speed demon right yeah. like he's not gonna blow by he, he's not a you know he's not a Pavel Bure he's more like a you know, I compare him to like a Tyler Johnson or or you know somebody like that who's just Cam Atkinson's another one. They're moving so quick and quickly and smoothly without moving their feet yeah. because they can just. It's like they're skiing out there, you know. Like, yeah, well like, said. Like, skiing, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. just carving their edges so yeah. well, um, and always a step ahead of everybody. Yeah. So like, he knows. If if he's cutting in this way, he knows that exactly who that defenseman is. He's attacking and whether he's it's Justin sh- Barron or whether it's the sixth defenseman on that team. Yeah. Uh, so he knows the tendencies of those guys, and he knows if he moves this much, they're going to lunge, and then he can spin off the other way. Yeah. 